Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back, and we're playing Corpse Party Book of Shadows, and we are in the fourth chapter, and it's called Purgatory. So let's get it started, and let's see where we end up. Let's see who we're playing as. So far, we have played as our Sayaka. Maybe our friendship will last forever. It will never die. Shit! <laughs> My mind was in a daze. The lights of the ceiling were spinning, moving in and out of one another, alternating between hazy and distinct and forming spiral patterns in my eyelids. I was being jerked along the ground with, by my legs like a heavy sack of rocks. I could feel every or feel every step he took vibrate across my entire body. But I couldn't do anything to stop it. I could no longer move of my own accord. I just kept getting dragged inch by inch across that filthy floor. Then across then eventually he stepped and threw me down and I rolled hard onto my face. I was helpless before him. Pant pant, Sayaka. Oh man, what is that? What? Wheeze. The piece of chocolate had fallen out of my pocket. I was pretty sure it did anyways. And I wasn't about to let anyone else have it. Give it back, you bastard. The large man took my crumpled form and roughly flipped me over my legs as if I was nothing more than a doll to him. I was facing him from the middle of the hallway as he readied his enormous hammer and looked right into my eyes. Was this it? Was I going to be killed now? Please. God, no. I was terrified, but not entirely. After all, she's coming to save me. No. Naho. Coming. I know she's... She's always come. She's... My friend. Damn. Sayaka. Oh, God. Hmm? Hmm? Oh. What a way to fucking start. Just like pounding Sayaka in the face. Just like. Ah! <laughs> well, now we get to know Naho. Naho in the other game was that bitch spirit, and she's still the bitch spirit in this game. She is a reporter for one of the people, and they go to Heavenly Host to investigate the, the deaths. But they always got out, and one time they weren't able to get out. And... That's it for the quick synopsis. Onto the story. Whoa, they're in a race! My name is Sayaka Anoe. I'm a junior at Halloween Academy High School. I'm just a normal school. I'm just a normal school, but my job conflicts with my studies, so I don't go to school all that often. And this is the first day I've had it a free in a while, so I call up my friend Naho, and we spent the whole night day spending together having a blast. The last event on our schedule was Twinkle Girls concert. They play every so often in a local venue called Club Beta. They're so incredibly cute. I try to catch them whenever I can. Recently, Twinkle had been performing on evening requests for shows, and they've been getting more and more attention. As well, they should, you know. I joined them on the program on a few times though myself, and the group I and I like to keep in touch through text and tweets. Tweets. Woo. Twitter. Oh. I wanted to hear the song. My eyes met with Naho's, and we were put our hands in the air, just like we don't care, like we don't care. She always has that bitch, like her tilt, like, her hands firmly across, just like ah. So cute. Thanks, Sayaka. Twinkles, the best. I think I'm in love, right? Are they awesome? I mean, their moves in that last song. Oh, I remember. Check it out. Check this out. Whoa, you got it down, girl. Though I think your hip movements are teensy bit off. Outside Club Beta, after the show, fans are hanging around the street corner, immersed in their lingering rhythms of the music. I wanted to ride that way myself, but I didn't like the idea of blocking the road in the process. So Naha and I just pranced our way back to the station, yes? Hey, check it out. I bought a towel. Naho began waving around the towel she bought at the merchandise booth after the show. She looked like a matador taunting a pop idol. Haha, <laughs> the number one, f the new number one fan. That's excellent. I have to buy one the next time too myself. Ha! <laughs> oh, it's still only nine. Hey Sayaka, let's say we drop by Gus on the way back. Come on, let's get ourselves some sweets to eat. Sounds pretty sweet to me, lead on. Her voice, that's like exactly like P 
pitch perfect. Hey, hey. Hee hee, give me a strawberry milk fam special, please. Whatever it was with Naho I had ordered, it sounded completely alien to me. The heck is that? It sounds super sugary. Something that'll put me in a seventh heaven. That's what. It's covered in milk and ridiculously delicious. This is Naho Sen Sayonaki. We're in the same school, same year, same class. Our backgrounds are sort of similar and, well, we talk all the time and eat together and stuff. But most of all, just look how cute she is. When we're together, she's e she even makes a girl like me all wobbly. I love this little lady. Point is, it's good and you're welcome to try some if you'd like. Why, thank you. As for me, I believe I'll go with the butterfly, the butterful pancakes. Yes, yes. Coming right up. They, they do say uh, girls shouldn't ingest a lot of calories after 9 at night, but hell. We hadn't eaten anything all day, so I figured why not indulge a little. La 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 Naha was gazing longingly at her towel while singing the melody of one of the Twinkle songs. She's unusually a really cool collected person, so I bet our classmates would flip out if they saw her like this. It was only when the two of us were alone together that she let loose with all this feline-like personality of hers, and it was always made me feel really special. You sure seem like you could have a great time. I'm glad you could just join me. Hmm? Naho so, uh, slowly raised her head at me and looked on into my eyes, and wow, what a gaze from that girl had. I felt like I could lose myself in those perfect papers. <laughs> Something wrong? I'm worried about you, Sayaka. You haven't been getting enough rest lately, have you? I completely hid my fatigue, and Naho somehow saw right through me. I could never keep anything from her. <laughs> yeah, I really haven't had weeks, uh, really had weekends like the last the last two months. Voice acting, soap operas, online radio. Yeah, it can definitely see the. I can definitely see the problem. I'll bet you're the one to talk though. Radio, ghost hunts, and oh yeah, aren't you supposed to be on the movie too? Totally jelly, by the way. Haha, <laughs> I'm just an extra. I'll be sitting behind Takasu Saito, eating French food. Hooray! <laughs> I didn't announce it. Uh, I didn't announce that yet though. Where'd you hear that from? About it? On Mr. Taguchi's blog, of course, he wrote a ton about it, and all in bold place, and he told everybody to cheer you on as loud as they could. Ah, oh, yay, vey, oy vey. Her expression twisted into an exaggerated blah pose, and she sprawled out across the table. You can't say anything around that guy. That's the guy that she went... Is like her mentor that goes to the heavenly host with her. For a while, I gazed at Naho, who has placed her chin on the table and puffed out cheeks. Not sure how to break the silence, I tried switching subjects. Oh, hey, Naho, for my next radio show, I'm going to do a special on scary stories. Oh, what? The deflated Naho suddenly reinflated. Guess I uh, piqued her interest. You've got a great voice, and I. Love to have you as a guest speaker. You can be my expert, commenting on ghost stories submitted by listeners. Mm. Her head was still glued to the table. Naho fell deep into thought. She seemed oddly concerned. I couldn't miss that momentary twinkle in her eye, though. Success! I just needed to rebate the line, and she was good as caught. <coughs> Come on, please? For me? My listeners know we're friends, and I get a lot of messages asking why you haven't been on the show yet. You've been a, you'd be a big hit for sure. Mm? But more like anything, more than anything, I really just want to see what it's like to be a co-host to a show with my bestest buddy Naho. <laughs> meow meow. Oh, she meowed. Oh, mewed. She was showing interest. It wouldn't take much longer to pounce on this old yarn now. Yeah, this is uh, this is a horror game, so. <laughs> Meow! <laughs> come on, come on. Meow! <laughs> this is the thing that just sort of happened between us sometimes. She turned into a cat and I played a part of her master. There's some fancy cat food in it for you if you say yes. What was that supposed to mean exactly? 
Um, I'll treat you some cafe quill fart non. Sound good? <gasps> so, Naho's face lit up. Okay, I'll do it. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I love you, Naho. Meow, meow, meow. I'm a cat, meow. Why are you hissing at me? <laughs> I did it. I got in the green light. <coughs> my, my smile couldn't have been bigger at that moment. Naho's popularity had exploded recently. She'd been having a hard time managing all the requests she'd been getting to appear in other radio shows. I've been hoping to get a chance to tie <coughs> our work together at some point, but I never imagined it'd be this easy. So with that out of the way, we sat back and enjoyed the hell out of our butterf butterful pancakes and strawberry milk fan special flan. And before we knew it, it was past 10 o'clock. Naho and I stood up and started down the ro uh, road home, giggling and chatting the whole way. So Naho, what are you going to do when we get uh, to school again? Plan on it tomorrow. I've been ditching class a lot for work, but they said I shouldn't should at least show up it to hand in my report. Ah, oh, okay. You're going to have to turn it in too, you know? They'll be asking for it the next time. You're there! Ah, uh, well, whatever. It's just a report. It'll be- it'll work out itself if I stay up all night. <laughs> oh, hey. You want to stop in and grab Kibiki's new book? You've been dying to read, right? And his place is on our, your way, so... Oh, yes, please. Right this way, then, madame. Naho's house was literally on the way home for me. Or rather, Mr. Kibiki's house, since that's where she'd been staying for the last for the last little while. Due to various circumstances, Naho had been commuting to school from her from here rather than living with her parents. Supposedly she'd move into the study with Mr. Kibiki like a pro, pro, prodigy. I think that's what it means. She was always willing to go that extra mile and I was always mad by that about her. Kibiki, I'm home. That's him, Yo, Kibiki. Honey. Welcome, Some welcome back. Right? Not too cold out, I trust. Mm, yeah. Oh, hey, hello. You must be. I was nervous as he looked over me, but he had very kind eyes. A man, he was not. <laughs> man, and man, he was ever hot, like old school Japanese style hot. <laughs> Good evening. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Sayaka Anoue. I bowed quickly, and Mr. Kibiki flashed a gentle smile. I'm Kibiki. Thanks for always looking after Naho. She's always, she always talks about you quite a lot. I'm so happy. I've also heard a quite a lot about you, Mr. Kibiki. <laughs> a laundry list of failed publications, no doubt. Oh, no, that's not true at all. Hey, Sayaka. Since we're here, why don't you stay for tea or something? Kibiki brought some really amazing second flush deer jing. Dar -jing? Dar -jing? Um, well... I kind of felt like I was being put on the spot. I mean, it was already late, and I doubted Mr. Kibiki was too keen on playing host. You don't mind, do you, Kibiki? Of course not. Though, you'd best give your family a call and let them know where you are. You wouldn't want to worry them, after all. Thank you very much. I hope this isn't too much trouble. Please, make yourself at home. Dude's got a killer smile. It was easy to see why Naho got so into him. Alright, then come on in. Okay, so they're not in already, they're just like in the doorway. In front of Kubiki, Naho returned her usual cool self. After calling home, I passed nervously through the living room, feeling a bit like I was imposing. Wow. But the living room, it was. The furnishings were the fusion of Japanese and Vietnamese styles, and everything was just like really posh and inviting. Vietnamese style, what the fuck is that? I'm Vietnamese, I don't even know what the fuck that means. This place is incredible. Go ahead and leave your bag over there, and please get comfortable. I'll put on, I'll put on the darjing. Oh, thank you very much. Thanks, Kimiki. It's no problem at all. I was looking to drink some myself, indeed. In fact, totally fucked that up. Kibiki then disappeared into another room. His smile never once fading. A total dreamboat all the way. Alright, so that's gonna be the end of this episode. So this is the first episode, prologue. We see you're fucking getting murdered for some chocolate. Bah, 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 chocolate! <laughs> but that's it for this episode, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed playing it. And I'll see you guys later.